from the Mass of the Easter Vigil until Saturday in Pentecost week. For seven weeks, the church celebrates Jesus Christ's reason, Easter, going up to heaven, ascension, and sending the Holy Ghost upon the apostles, Pentecost. The Easter season is the time of new life, the new life of our Lord, now alive forever, of a life that no longer belongs to the earth and which we will one day share in heaven with him, and also our own new life. Indeed, we have the certainty of joining Jesus Christ one day in heaven if we are faithful to his grace. Snatched by him from the power of Satan, we belong to him as his conquest and we participate in his life. The Easter octave is the week of the newly baptized. They have passed from death to life, from the darkness of sin to the life of grace in the light of Christ. Gathered in his church, they share her faith, they pray and offer with her the sacrifice of the redeemed in thanksgiving and they find in the sacred body of Jesus Christ the nourishment of a fraternal life which unites them in charity. As for all other Christians, their learning efforts must not be scattered to the winds in 24 hours. It is therefore necessary that they pursue them today, but now in a new perspective. It is no longer question so much of making the old man die away as of living the new life received in baptism. The moral requirements of the new life will be called to mind throughout Eastertide. They obey the principle expressed by St. Paul, raising with Christ. The Christian ought to raise his desires towards heaven, detach himself from earthly satisfactions and acquire the taste for things on high. It will be the work of the Holy Ghost to finish forming in those who are baptized the new man who, by the holiness of his life, bears witness to the resurrected Christ. During these 50 days of uninterrupted joy, the Alleluia is continually resounding, attaching its triumphant exaltation to all of the chants. Until Pentecost, we use white vestments, sign of joy, and baptismal purity. God bless you.